slavery to understand this. There were two kinds of Negroes. There was that old house Negro and the field Negro. And the house Negro always looked out for his master. And he loved his master more than his master loved himself. That's why he didn't want his master hurt. If the master got sick, he'd say, what's the matter, boss? We sick. When the master's house caught a fire, he'd try and put the fire out. He didn't want his master's house burned. He never wanted his master's property threatened. And he was more defensive of it than the master was. That was the house Negro. But then you had some field Negro. Uh, Grandpa, tell me something. Who invented the park? Okay, now. Who in, no, wait, hey, hold it. Tell me. Give me the book of promise. No, don't, 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 don't. Who invented the park? You got fools. No, 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 no. You got no. fools. You see, you're Some people. You're not questions. answering. You're not answering. You're you're answering. Tell me, tell me. Who invented the park? Yeah. It was four. What's your next question? What? Okay. Who invented the plane? Well, the white man. man. What was the man's name that invented the plane? No, I forgot. I'm sorry. You wait, forgot wait, his name? No, wait, wait. You forgot his name? Yeah, I forgot. I know. I, I used to know it. 1903. I used to know it. I used to, but I forgot it, all right? I forgot it. Yeah. Who invented You see, you have to relax. The car was a black man. Hold on, hold on. The car was a black man. Ford came after, number one. Okay. The Wright brothers was 1903. That's the airplane. What is your point? Yeah. No, they're not, they're not evil. They're not evil. What do you mean you're not evil? That's my opinion. Not evil. Mean? How do you know? You were on that time? Slavery, slavery is a thing of the past, all right? Oh. So how long, how long ago was it? How long ago was it? I forgot. Slavery? There's too many things. Ah, 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 ah. Too many things. Brother, brother, you're babbling. Slow down, I'm slow down, slow down. Too right. so many things. I'm talking to you slowly. You think history, how? history, history is complicated. Brother, slow history. down, slow down, things. slow down. But you're not how? listening. I'm, I'm, I'm you're listening. not listening. How long was slavery? You're talking too much. How long was slavery ago? Too long, it's long ago. How long ago was slavery? I forgot. So let's deal with that for now. Yeah. You're, you're, all, you're all around. My memory is just stuck. My memory is just stuck. Okay, so let me, let me refresh it for you. Yeah. Slavery ended, depending on which part of America, is, yeah. in South America, it ended 129 years ago. In North America, it ended 158 years ago. We yeah. received our rights 58 years ago. That long yeah. time ago? Yeah, you want me, you want me to hate everybody? Ah, well, no, no, no. Is that what I said to you? You want me to hate everybody? Is that what I said to you? Is that what I said to you? What about the children? What about the children? Did you hear me say to you? Okay, what about the white children? Did you hear me say, what? Hold on, let me ask you a question. They're children. Let me ask you a question. Why are you focusing on white folks? Not like Chinese or Arabs or Africans. Why are you saying white folks? Why are you saying white folks? Because we keep saying that the white men. Ah, 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 that's not what I asked you. Why do you keep mentioning white children? You didn't mention your children. You didn't mention Arab children, Korean children, African children. Your yeah. first concern, brother, yeah. was white kids and white people. Yeah. Why is it that they're making concern? I don't hate anyone. That's all I asked you. That's all I asked you. Why was your? That's all I asked you. Why was your main? No, you said you look white folks. There you go. There you go. No, you don't. Brother, the brother asked the question. He didn't ask anybody. Children. He said, "Why are you talking about the white children? It's the people. They made the airplanes. They made cars. He didn't mention anybody making cars. I knew it was kids. You know what I'm saying? That's called Stockholm syndrome. Right. You know what Stockholm syndrome is? Stockholm syndrome is when you're enslaved for a long time." You begin to love your oppressor. Right. You're in slavery for so long, you start to defend, have empathy for, and love the sympathy for the men that kills you in cold blood in Staten Island. Right. The men that kills you in cold blood in Missouri. Right. The men that right. kills you in cold blood in Florida. Right. The men that kills you in cold blood in, in South Carolina. Right. North Carolina. Right. New York. Right. That's a slave mind. This man over here loves everybody that comes from loving him. Right. Bring it out. That comes from this. Now, now it's the same kind of Negroes in the corner over there hiding. Let's go to go next to How many of you are here? How many of you are here? I'll raise your hand. I'll raise your hand. Raise your hand. How many of you are here? I'll raise your hand. Let me ask you a question. Why? Why is that happening? Why? Why is that going on over there? Why did Michael get killed? Why did he get killed? How many of you know why? We have no rights. When did black folks receive their rights? Civil rights. When? What year? You know the year? You know the year? You know the year? Night. Lyndon B. Johnson. Brother on point. Right. Very good. Brother is on point. Right. How many years ago? Right. Right. Now, now they have a jury, it's a jury being set up right now, a jury being set up for Mike Brown's trial. 
the, the, the jury is nine whites and three blacks. He gonna get off. He's gonna get off. And do you know why that is? The, 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 right now, man, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. The white man always get off. Black people kill black people every day, right? What's the white man say? He says, if you can do it, why can't I do it? Do you black folks complain when blacks kill blacks? If a black cop killed my father, would people know his name? I'm asking you honestly. If a black cop shot Mike Brown, would we know about it? Yes, of course they know about it, right? No, you wouldn't. They wouldn't announce that. Because blacks kill blacks all the time. No one protests. Nobody marches. No one knows their names. A um, Negro, we was out, we were out there in Missouri. We we're on the news. A um, Negro, we was out there teaching the people a brother shot, brother in the neck. That's not the news. Why is that? The same day we were out there, a brother shot another brother in the throat and killed him. Why is that in the news? Why? Why is it when white people kill black people, y'all are mad, but y'all do it every day? Why is that? Give me the book of um, Exodus and Hosea 515. I'm gonna say something to y'all. I'm gonna be very serious with y'all. My sympathy goes out to Mike Brown and his family, Trayvon. How many of y'all remember Yosef Hawkins? Y'all know who that is. How many of y'all remember Sean Bell? Y'all forgot about him. From Molly Graham. Remember him? No, if I'm in the middle, I remember them. James Byrd. No one knows who that is. Read that. I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense. Because right now your main concern is white people. Our concern, brother, is our people who are being killed and, and murdered at an alarming rate every single day by their own people and by their oppressor. You're worried about white children. White kids don't suffer what we're suffering from. White kids aren't out here suffering with us. So why is that your concern? Why is it your concern? Because you love him right here. That's your master. That's, your, that's who you love. That's your God. So why waste my time talking to you about that when I'm focused on my people? You're focusing on white people who are killing your people every day, but not my people. So nothing to talk about. We're going to talk about it. Read that yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. I would go. I have a question. I would go. I have a question. Come on. I would go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. I would go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and seek my face. His face is his Bible. Go ahead. In their affliction. In your affliction, they're getting shot in the streets choked out, and they getting up, read on. They will seek me early. Then, will you seek your God early? Yes, as right. long as you, if you get your justice and your rights, you'll remain happy here. You're not, this is not your homeland. Take your damn rest. You are here because you broke God's laws. You're here because you are in slavery. No longer physically, but now you're slavery mentally now. The chains are up here. You are brought here against your will. You are not considered a man. You are three-fifths of a man. The Constitution was not made for you. The Declaration of Independence was not written for you. You were called niggas and snakes then, and called niggas and snakes now. They're gonna keep killing y'all over and over again to y'all repent. Read the bottom part again. In their affliction, they will seek the earth. So in your gunshot, in your police meetings, your wrongful arrest, you will seek God at all. Because in your happiness, you will seek God at all. You're not going to put your hands. Then you're going to get the blood right. Like a child, a child out there, beat first. Then you're going to, okay, you know what? I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to punish them. I can't watch TV. I can't go outside. I'm going to my homework. And that's how God works. He's a parent. He ain't playing with you. Let me take this 338. What's your question now, man? What's, you I'm going to call you, what's your name, Stockholm? Yeah, Francisco. You know, Francisco, what, Stockholm? 
You need a vacation. I need a vacation. Yeah, For what? Vacation. To go where? White people? And you need to shave. Where white no, folks no, live? To relax. I need to shave. What? Yeah. To look like him? No. Look like him? Relax. Your men have beards. Yeah, you need a vacation. Lions have manes. Vacation. Okay, yeah. okay, well, my white shave, people, we're we'll going to Russia, we're going to Portugal, no, Portugal no, Spain, no, where the white kids are at and hug them and hold them. Yeah. Where should I go? I'm not saying anything bad. I'm not saying anything bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm relaxed. Now what? What's your question? We're one. Right? Well, no, we're not one. Everyone. My yeah. mind is my mind to my people. Yeah. So your mind is to him. That's your mind. We're not one at all. I know, I love everybody. No, you don't. You love white people and white kids. I love everybody. No, 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 no. What you didn't mention anybody. You didn't mention everybody. You mentioned white people. But you didn't mention that earlier. Your concern was white people making planes and cars and their children. Not everybody. Don't call it that nonsense, bro. I'm very good at listening. I'm a good listener. Don't call it that everybody stuff. Your first concern was not everybody. You said the white man made the car. White man made the airplane. They're good people. And you said they're children. You didn't mention That's not everybody. That's not they everybody, made, made the but you're all over the place. The That's world. not everybody, brother. They made the submarine. Stop playing with me. That's See? not everybody. So they're not evil. They're not really evil. You have to relax. You need to relax. Wait, where do you think white people get all the ideas from the Bill stuff? Right. From us. Right. I said one and three. You don't even know that the railroad tracks is ours. That's how it's done. Oh, damn! Chapter one! One of the adventures that you say white folks had came from us. Kind of been stole. From us. The Ford stole from us. Their light bulb stole from us. And we Most inventions. And you use it. Well, you use it but right? It's black invention. It's not white. Yeah, it's Your black. argument was white folks made it. But white folks stole the patents from us and yeah. took, the, took the glory of it. Yeah. So what you're talking about, bro. And you use it. But listen, it's still black invention. Your purpose was saying white people made it. But there's a black invention. So you have no argument now. Oh, you go. Okay, you done now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, well, now I have another, now I have another question. Read that. You ask many questions. Yeah. How about learn to listen before you ask yeah. questions? Read that. Isaiah one and three. What is God going to say? Not what I'm going to say. No, I'm going to say. What am I going to say? Yeah. Give me Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Brother asked the question. Old. He That's said, what is, what is me a man, a man going to shave? Two yeah. men, people have, have no beards. Babies and women. Those are the only kind of people that should have no beard in their face. That's right. Real men rock beards. Lions have manes. A lion has manes. Bible matters more. His laws matter more than what God says. Because it's the right century. So God, so let me ask you a question. Are we in the last days? Are we in the last days? Yes. We're not in the last days, so it's gonna be a forever. Oh wow. We got a house nigga up over here now. You are a house nigga, bro. You are a house nigga or house nigga. Whatever it is. Read that again? This is gonna be a babble. I'm We're gonna be slave I'm babble. I'm I'm not, I'm you that nigga I'm that got killed by her here, tell me. I'm Indian. I wanna go through. You're an Indian. Yes, now. I'm Indian. Oh, so yeah. you believe the white man then? Yeah, but I read Buddhism. I read Buddhism. So, so you believe, so you yeah, believe I that. Buddhism. that so you, I so you believe Buddhism. So you're an atheist first. Yeah, but you believe I, yeah, but that I read nothing Buddhism. came from nothing and made everything and, it, and for no reason and it formed, it came perfectly, it was formed perfectly from the moon from the sun. It all came out of nowhere from a big bay out of nowhere. That's unknown. That's unknown. Nobody knows where we came from. So it's a belief then. Nobody, yeah, exactly. It's so it's a, a theory. That's your it's faith. A, it's a theory. But it's a faith, you, but it's you a have faith theory. in that. Nobody but you have faith in that theory. No, no. Yes, you do. We don't, we don't but you have faith in that. We don't know where we came from. But you have faith in it, right? No, no, I don't. Atheism came from man. Atheism came from man. Nobody knows where men came from. Atheism came from. Nobody knows where men came from. Right. Where men came from. Nobody right. knows that. Nobody atheist, knows that. Atheists believe in this. Atheists believe in yeah. well, not me. In evolution. Yeah, not me. Not say, me. Well, you're not atheist. Yeah. Because atheists believe in evolution. Evolution is a man. Atheists came from monkeys. 
they gave them monkeys, they made the fire, they made the wheel. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. But it is that. believed in the Big Bang. I'm not, I'm not every ethnic. I'm not every ethnic. Oh, I'm yeah. me. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I'm you're not you. You're a special I'm kind just, of atheist. I'm just me, yeah. Like, like a house nigga. Yeah. I have my own belief. I have my own belief. Yeah. Right, yeah, you are yeah, you a house nigga. Yeah, I have my own belief. Right. Yeah, my own belief. You're, you're yeah. a Stockholm belief. Stockholm syndrome. Call it whatever you want. Right, that's what it is. Yeah, you have freedom of speech. Call it whatever you want. Leviticus 21 and 5. This shall not make boldness upon their head. Well, I'm an anti atheist. I believe in God. How about that? Not me. So why are you here? We got Bibles here. Because you're an atheist. Why are you here? Speak. I'm teaching now. You're not letting me speak. Because you're not saying anything. Well, you asked me a was, question, but you're not uh, White man made a plane and uh, what else? The uh, yeah, you asked me why I'm here. You asked me why I'm here. White, right? white children. Well, you asked me why I'm here. Now, yeah, but you want to come in and defend Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm not for them. Okay, are you, are you ready to listen? I'm ready to teach you okay. what a guy is Because I value, your way. I value every knowledge. You every knowledge, out. yeah, every knowledge is important. Atheists right? don't. That's why I'm here. Atheists don't. Uh, to learn from you. You said Buddhist right? also. I, I learned from Jesus, I learned from Buddha, I learned from Muhammad. What's your nationality? Dominican. This nigga here, man. Right. Bro. Yes, it, oh, hold on, hold on. Dominican, what's the word Dominican mean? You, you have knowledge, yes. right? Catholic, Where did the word right? come it from? Has some, it has something to do with the Catholic Church, right? I'm asking you. Yeah, you're a Dominican. Yeah, it has something to do with the Catholic Where the world come from? What does it mean? Dominican is a, it's a Catholic Dominique order. Dominican meaning what? It's a Catholic order. Do Dominican, right. is, Dominican is a Catholic order. Right. It's not a nationality. It's a Catholic order. Right. So what So what they do when I they came I over here? I hope I get Wi-Fi here. Right. You're, right. You're, right. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I agree with you. If I get Wi-Fi, I'm going to show it to you. You're, I agree with you. So let me ask you a question. When did you ever come to Dominican? You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous? No, God making yeah. you nervous. It ain't me making you nervous. I'm just a man. Read it again. My wife, I'm going to show you. This is not make wildness upon their head. I have it in my body. I have it over here. I know what it means. It means Dominicanes. They call, they call, call dogs of God. They were Jesuits that came over here and taught the natives. And taught the natives Christianity. They taught you this. They call them faithful dogs of God. Dominicanes. Dog of God. Dominicanes. Dominicanes. Canine. That's where canine comes from. The Jesuits called themselves under Saint Dominic. Under Saint in 1215 AD. They came over here and enslaved you and taught you white Jesus and that you are faithful dogs of God. That's so right. means you are faithful. Are you a dog? Are you a dog? Do I look like My a dog? Do I look like a dog too? No, but you're a Dominican, so you're a dog of God. That's what it means. Are you a dog of God? It's a Catholic order. That's what the yeah, it means. Dogs of God. Are you a dog no, of God? It's a Catholic order. It's the, what's the nationality then? I told you already. You're Dominican. Yeah. You're a Catholic order. That's your nationality. That's the nation you come from. You come from a Catholic order. I come from, a, from an island. From an island. What nation did they come from on that island? Where they come from? He don't know. He ain't Wi-Fi to figure out what nationality. Is. You're this man. Okay, I'm Dominican. No, 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 no. So you're no, a no, Dominican. No, no. They were Tainos. Dominican. No, no. Let's not get. Let's not get into that. Let's not get into. Don't you get into that. Tainos. You know the hell you are. No, they were Tainos. What that mean? What that mean? What that word mean? What's the word mean? Okay, wait. What's the word mean? They brought, they brought slaves. What does Taino mean? I know that. They brought slaves. They were already dark already. They were dark already. Stop that. They are dark, dark already. What's Taino mean? I'll What's Taino it. mean? I'll get it. I got a tablet. I'll what does Taino mean? I'll get it right now. They're you don't Indians. know. They're Indians. What does They're Taino Indians. mean? They were Indians. What, what does it mean? What's the word mean that they were using? Taino. Okay, What's it okay. mean? Okay, tell me. You don't know. It tell means me. peace. Oh, when Columbus came over here, I just said it. I just said it. Now he's saying they were natives. Taino were natives. They were natives. They were, they and they were the salute okay. by saying Hispaniola. Taino, meaning Uncle peace or shalom. Uncle Hispaniola, they were the natives. Neither! They my yeah, people, Uncle I know Hispaniola. that, read that. Neither! I got so they okay. say more, okay. the corner of their beard. Yeah. Yeah. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So as a custom of the Israelites, I was not to not shave our beards or heads. Because during this time, that's old. we came out of, we came out that's of Egypt. Old. That's old. That's old. But that's God old. is not old. I'm going to shave myself. But God is not old. I'm going to cut my hair. God is new all the I'm time. God is around us all day long. I'm going to cut my hair. But God says don't do that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, God. But you're atheist. So why are you, yeah. I, I said before, I was teaching what God said. You don't believe in God. So why are you standing here with all I thought for? I already told you. Okay, but I'm wasting my, I told you you're wasting my time. I believe in the Bible. You don't. That's like me going to a gay club and I'm straight. You yeah, understand? Yeah, I'm going to a gay yeah. club for and I like women. Yeah, right. That yeah, makes right. sense to you? Yeah. Hey, let's go to the gay club. I'm straight. That makes no damn sense. What the hell are you doing here? They're out of place. You understand? They believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. You believe in God, right? Yeah. What color is Christ? He, he got his right. That's damn right. That's why they're here. You don't believe that. Go down the street. You're wasting my time, Vickies. <laughs> okay. He got a question for you. He got a question. Well, question brother. Who believes in God? In terms of not being bald, the Lord, the Lord don't do that with the Egyptian custom. It's like it's 18 verse 3. They say Jesus Christ, did he have dreads? No, no, it said, no, he was a Nazarene, not a Nazarite. 
Yeah. You didn't have dreadlocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The Nazarene used to be. They had beards. Yeah, yeah. Nazarene. Yeah. But he wasn't Nazarite. He was a Nazarene. That's where he was from. That's he was old. Raised that's in old. That's, that's He's old. He's asking about old times, brother. You waste. You you disrespectful, man. If I was white, I'm sure you'd be real quiet and submissive and subservient like a good nigga that you are. Really? So be quiet when you're talking, man. Be it again? Be it again? 18, he's taking the last forever. We're going to be it forever. That's what he said earlier. So stay here until the nukes drop and you get burned alive. Read that? Or repent or the other. Leviticus 18 and 3. After the doing. Because the laws we were given were given to us after we came out of Egypt. So we were following Egyptian customs. One of those customs was, or one of the many customs was, shaving our heads bald, or we would take our hair, we would shave it, leave a round circle here with a ponytail. Bald, that's called rounding the head, rounding it. Read on. After the doors of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, ye shall Stop. not. And the Greeks followed the customs of the Egyptians. Alexander the Great was a very, very powerful homosexual, very effeminate. And he instituted the law of also all Hellenized or Greek made citizens to shave their face off their hair off their face as well. And the Romans made what is called the chin strap, where they cut the knee line up, where it's a long thin line like this. That's from the Romans. You understand? So America adopted or combined all these traditions into itself and put it on us. Especially the laws of Egypt. Shaving your head, bald head, Michael Jordan, Joe. Uh, who else is born? George Foreman, Horace uh, Cujo, uh, Jay, uh, Jay Z. Understand? That's the Egyptian custom. Horace Cujo and shaving your beard. Yeah, we'll not at all. You can line it up. You can be a line up. You can't cut into your natural line. You can trim it down. You got to be uh, have an app on your face. Trim it down, but don't shave into your natural line. Or don't shave it off at all. You understand? Be on. Wherein ye dwell, ye shall not do. Be no meaning. Don't destroy or disfigure it. That's what it means. 19, 19 verse 20, um, um, no, 27. Leviticus 19, 27. You shall not run the corners of your head. Mean don't get a bald head. Neither shall thy more the corners of thy don't beard. Don't your corners. Some man does not keep going. Just keep it neat. You understand? Go ahead, not more the corners. Destroy or disfigure. Black man cut his hair. He was a Nazarite. During a Nazarite, I was a Samson. Yeah. He was a Nazarite, yeah. and his custom—he had seven braids or locks. Same thing. Yeah. Put the locks yeah. together. You can, with a lock, what you do with a lock? What you do with a lock? A lock does what? What does a lock do? Those, 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 those seven braids mean the braids. Oh no, it means yeah, braids. What, 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 what does a lock do? A lock. What does a lock do? What do locks do? What's their purpose? A lock, I like a regular lock, not your brain. A lock, what's it do? It opens and what? It opens and closes. Can your lock do that? Yeah, my lock is. So it's not locks. You understand? Well, listen, I'm not, there's no law against the tongue to do. It's not a custom of ours, but we can't instill a law saying cut your hair because it's long. You understand? If you want like a woman, yeah, you got, yeah, that's something wrong. You got to fix that. Because during the time, give me First Corinthians uh, 11, about hair being long. Because during the time of the Corinthians, the Romans were ruling. And the Romans adopted the, the Greek customs. They had their own po po um, po politics, but the same religious customs or traditions of Greece, they retained it. So a lot of Israelites that was in Greece at the time, they wore their hair like a girl, like women, in an effeminate manner. You understand? First Corinthians 11. Yeah, 14, read that. First Corinthians 11 and 14. Because there was an argument about whether men should have long hair or not have long hair. Because now Samson was a Nazarite. He couldn't cut his hair from the time of his birth. John the Baptist, Absalom, Samuel, they couldn't cut their hair at all. Samuel grew too old to gray hair. So we couldn't cut his hair from the time he was born and he grew old, his hair had to be long. So it's no law against having long hair, but it's against nature when it's worn like a what? Right, read that. Does not even nature itself teach you because of, for example, is there, there, there's no law on how long long is. There's no law on what inches long is. If a man has a big afro, is that against nature? Is that gay? If a man wears it, but then I got braids. Take, so he, got, he, got, he got long hair. Take his braids out. It'll be a big ass apple like this. I can tell I had long hair before. Would that be against nature to have long hair or braids? No. When you wear like a woman, it's against nature. Read it again. Does not even nature itself teach you that. It's such that Aaron had a beard down in his garment. That's long hair. 
that against God's laws? No. Read again. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. It is a what? It is a shame unto him. If you have long hair, it's a shame unto him. Go ahead. But if a woman have long hair. Now she wears her long hair. Go ahead. It is a glory to her. A lot of men like long hair. Some women go out there and get weaves and perms, try to get the long hair they can. They add, they add raccoon, bear, <laughs> mermaid, whatever they want to get, it can get and make it long. When it's not long, go ahead. Because it's glorious to have long hair. Women go out there, they go like this, yeah, go with the white girl flow. Go ahead. For her hair is giving her for a covering. Her hair is giving her for her, her glory. Go ahead. That's her honor. Go ahead. But. If any man see to be contentious, if any man sees to be contentious, he argue about whether a man got long hair or not. Go ahead. We have no such custom. There's no law against how long a man's hair can grow. Only so long he wants to grow. As long as it's not worn in the fashion of a what? In the glory of a what? Right. Go ahead. Neither the churches of God. There's no law where a man can argue about how long your hair can be. Now, is that our custom of Israel? No, it's not. But that's your own salvation. Work that out yourself if you want to do it today. There's no law against how long it can be. At all. The men have long beards down here. The men have long braids. So the law against how long it can be. You understand? Unless you are a Levite. Then it can be a certain way. Now, um, give me the book of Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31 for Stockholm over here. Get, the back, book. get back on that again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. The Bible says, Envy now not the oppressor. Don't love those who oppress you. Don't envy them. Oh, look how pretty their hair is. Look how shaped this. Look how, look how clean shaven they look. Let me look like them. Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. Envy thou not the oppressor. Go ahead. And choose none of his ways. Their ways is what? Shaving your beard up your face. Loving America, believing it's going to last forever. That's choosing his ways. You understand? That's not a custom of us to do that. All right. First Maccabees 11 and verse 21. Follow one. Then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people. Read again. Then certain ungodly persons here. who hated their own people. That's him right here. For many years, brothers and sisters have inquired of us about the haters of Israel United in Christ. I explained to Deacon Asaf, who's one of the best rappers in the world, believe it that we needed a video. So I gave him my concept, the uh, message I wanted to convey to the people. Um, I had many producers on standby. We also have one of the best video production artists named Bezalel. He's like the incredible hulk of all videos. To mold the video around the music that Deacon Asaph will come with and make it happen. How many times must we check these fools, correct these fools, dissect these fools? They still run in their mouth, that's why nobody don't respect these fools. I heard the song, I loved it, and they made it happen. I wanted to deal with the scoffers first, because there are many haters against the Bible, against God, against Israel, and not in Christ. And I want all you at home, brothers and sisters, to understand that the primary focus of Israel United in Christ is to teach you your nationality, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Towards the end of the video, I want all the viewers to understand that we are building a nation of kings and priests according to the scriptures, and we will not be deterred by anyone.